what up my people I haven't seen you guys all year honestly i think last time i uploaded a video was like <clears throat> i can't remember it was like the very beginning of this year um well last year technically today is the first day of 2021 and i am so happy 2020 is over it was such a bullshit year um i don't even have to even go in depth about it because you guys know what i'm talking about um however i want to let you guys know that i purchased a new vehicle um december of 2020 um and i'm going to be introducing it very very soon however this video today is about my bmw f80 i'm gonna be going over um a couple things that a buyer for an f80 f82 f87 uh needs to know before buying an uh an m car um so yeah guys here we go but first let's let's do a tackle run i'm, I'm kind of craving tacos so i'm gonna head down to moore park cali and uh, go get tacos Unlock it. All right, yo, you guys gotta come check this YOLO cups out. They're mobile, so they happen to be all over pretty much LA County, Ventura County. Today they're in Moore Park. Check them out on Instagram, YOLO cups. They be looking wet, as usual. There's my lady, my beautiful lady. Ooh, I like your jacket. Ooh, the Ruka girl, ew. Look at that booty. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> All right, guys, so I couldn't finish the video last night. Um, by the time I got home from picking up tacos, it was way too late. There was no light outside. So I decided to do it the very next day. So I will be talking about this components in just a minute. But this video is pretty much all about what buyers should know before purchasing an F80, F82, an F87, so M3, M4, and an M2 competition. Um, first thing I wanna point out, um, these cars are extremely reliable. From the factory, these things can take a beating. However, you, you do wanna keep things on the safe side, especially if you uh, have ran out of warranty um i purchased the vehicle within my nine months after purchasing the vehicle i ran out of warranty so therefore i did everything uh on my own like i learned every step on my own i did my research youtube google um many hours looking for the right components to install on this car to prevent certain damages to the engine um ecu the cooling and whatnot so let's go ahead and get started first thing is first um these things are called charge pipes they're very thin plastic which honestly look no more than 15 20 dollar components which doesn't make sense um due to the fact that you can be hauling ass at whatever time these things can crack under a lot of boost so therefore, I went ahead and upgraded uh, to some SSR charge pipes. I got them stealth black. Pretty solid look. I know my engine base dirty as fuck. I'm sorry. But yeah, so charge pipes is the first thing you guys should do um, when it comes to uh, just driving the car normally, bone stock. That's the first thing you guys should do, the charge pipes. After that... <sighs> The thing that scares everybody the most. What's that thing that scares every M3, M4, and M2 owner? Hmm. You guessed it right. Crank up. Crank up. 
All right, guys, sorry I'm breathing heavy. I literally did a 45 minute like burnout workout and I came straight to uh, my location where I'm doing the video. So fuck, I'm still tired. 2021, I, get, I gotta get back in shape, honestly. I gained 27 pounds, fuck. So this component has been giving a lot of people a lot of headaches. Uh, I got mine done seriously within two months after purchasing the vehicle. Now, when I bought the M3, I had no clue. I'd never even heard of the term crank up. However, when I bought the vehicle, I went to a uh, all M3 and M4 uh, car cruise slash car show. It was pretty cool. I overheard a guy talking about doing some serious engine work to his car due to the fact that the crank hub spun on him so i asked them i pulled them aside because i didn't want to seem like like some newbie who had no clue what he was talking about you know so i talked to him for like 30 minutes he filled me in on everything that has to do with a crank hub and he told me to check out a place in orange county called ssr performance where he got his done so i hit up ssr and from then i built thankfully an awesome relationship with the guys over at ssr performance they literally take care of my car um and when it comes to maintenance uh when it comes to performance um so yeah man that's my personal go-to performance shop um but back to the crank up what the crank up does it pretty much it goes somewhere over here that controls the timing of the car now oops i almost broke this cheap ass uh charge pipes probably might as well have honestly <laughs> but anyways so what this does is that it pretty much loosens up when you're under pressure and the bolt just flies off therefore your timing on your car completely goes off so therefore most of the time you either need to rebuild your engine or replace the engine now if you guys look back to my crank up video that i did on this uh, uh work that i did at ssr performance it lets you know that this engine can be up to twenty thousand dollars honestly used um so you definitely want to do the crank up right after if not before the charge pipes ever it is pretty pricey depending where you go i know there's some shops that charge two thousand bucks and I know some other shops that charge 4,000 bucks, you know? My only recommendation is that you need to take it to a place that's going to get it done right. Uh, professional techs that will get it done in a timely manner and right, you know, most importantly, because it is a very, very, uh, drastic surgery we can say when it comes to the engine they literally take that thing apart um i wouldn't recommend you go into a place where they're gonna do it for 2500 bucks i would rather honestly go to a place that's going to charge more and make sure you look at their reviews ask around the bmw community uh for the m3 and m4 it's not big it's getting big but it's not that big so just ask around. You know, I, I did my asking around before I did the crank up, before I did anything on the car. So that's why I did all the mods um, that I did to my car. So I got two things out of the way. Charge pipes, replacements, crank up, replacement. Now, the brakes. Oof, why, how can I even start with this brake service? I'm gonna just be honest with you, it's not cheap. Um, if you guys don't have any warranty, like the 2015 and 16s, for the most part, are running out of warranty. Um, I paid upwards of $25, $2,700 for a full brake service front and back for this car. Just know, whenever you do the brake pads on this car, you need to replace the rotors. Absolutely, front and back rotors need to be replaced. That is why uh, it comes out to be that much. I used OEM parts. Um, I strongly believe that this M3 brakes are just top-notch quality 
from the factory there's no need unless you're you know sitting at a thousand wheel horsepower tracking this fucking car all the time i, I you know then go ahead and replace them you know if you're doing this as, as a hobby every weekend but if it's a street car you know you drive it to work and back you know you take it to the canyons this brakes oems are just perfectly fine but just be aware that when the warranty runs out and you need to replace your brakes it's going to be a twenty-five, three thousand dollar job depending where you take it another thing uh, this issue is actually pretty well known in the m community um this emblem tends to crack after only about a year maybe even less um mine as you can tell already has cracks coming along here here i mean i've only had the car for two years and when i got it it looked i mean fresh just brand new now i mean it's all cracked after like two years which i expected more from a car that's seventy-two thousand dollars brand new you know that's the only complaint I have when it comes to uh, the interior leather, which I absolutely love. Only one of one. <laughs> kind reminder, just one of one color combo in California. Tanzanite, blue, and Sakari red interior, which I always get compliments about. Thank you very much, people. Here is one thing that really bothers me, and I fight... <sighs> literally oh my god like once twice a week at least with this component <laughs> my freaking radio my bluetooth system happens to randomly connect and disconnect on its own it could be working one minute and then the next it's it's i don't i have no clue like it just won't connect won't find my device and i thought i was tripping you know this car is a 2015 so i was like uh maybe it's the first gen that came out with you know that, that's still having this issues with the bugs however i asked my buddy who's got a 2018 m4 same issue he says that he wants to punch his bluetooth radio every week he just wants to break it now he's taking it to the dealership he's taking it to the dealership and they told him that he just has to deal with it that the m3 and m4s have that issue a seventy two thousand dollar car should not be having any type of bluetooth issues my girlfriend's honda civic has never had a problem with her bluetooth so i don't know what's up with bmw maybe they gotta figure that bug out but you know it is what it is for now you know um other than the you know the things i talked about can't really complain about this vehicle i mean when it comes to stopping it stops on a dime performance obviously this thing is very well known for hauling ass and being a total sleeper that surprises a lot of people um just know that when it comes to maintenance work you have to pay for it if you run out of warranty you know it sucks uh the brakes I just wanted to point out the brakes because that was ex shockingly expensive. Surprise. <laughs> Nearly $3,000 for entire brake service. Um, charge pipes. It's only about a $500 to $700 upgrade, which will save you from, you know, being stranded in the freeway or, or just catching that nasty surprise that your charge pipes broke or popped off and your car is running lean or you know just just avoid the issue with 500 bucks 700 bucks you deal with those charge pipes now the most expensive part that i know a lot of people are holding back i know they're holding back because it is expensive it's the crank up listen i'd rather spend three to four thousand dollars out of my pocket before this engine explodes i have to rebuild it it rebuilt for this engine. I know a guy that rebuilt it because he wanted to um, upgrade the turbos, go math. He spent $7,000 rebuilding the engine. That's just the same engine just being rebuilt. Now, 
an engine replacement can be upwards of twenty thousand dollars and for me it's it's just not worth it just spend three four thousand bucks um if i could suggest you where to go i would go to ssr performance those are my boys ask for shot rod um they would literally treat you like family so honestly you know if you guys have any questions you guys can uh send me a message on instagram blue smurf f80 m3 um or you can uh, message me on my business page luis body shop or just comment below um and i'll answer all your questions till next time now before i go i do want to let you guys know that i will be adding more power to the ground and it's going to be some serious power i've never had a car that's over 600 horsepower to the wheels um so it should be interesting all right deuces